Good morning, everyone. Your host, Cy Smith, uh, coming to you live from uh, Gary, Indiana. Today is Tuesday. Every Tuesday is Education Day. I want to spend this time talking about the violence. And um, it's Education Day, so hopefully this makes sense for you. Uh, there's three elements that must be present for any fire to take place. We call it HOF, heat, oxygen, and fuel. So that must be present for all. All three ingredients must be present for any fire. You know, I learned that in the Navy. <laughs> you know, on the ship, everyone has to be a firefighter. So anyway, um, not to take away from our firefighters, we have to be miniature firefighters. We have to at least know the basics. Uh, so those are the three elements, heat, oxygen, fuel. Now, when we talk about crime and violence, there are three elements as well. It's called intent, capability, and opportunity. So with the IOC, uh, <clears throat> intent, capability, ICO, intent, capability, and opportunity. When I spoke earlier this year, when we said we had to do the Women and Children Protection Act, which is something that black men pastors would sign up for to make sure that our women and children are safe this summer across the nation, piling it here in Gary, Chicago, Atlanta. The key is for our people to understand why I said that between eight in the morning <clears throat> and eight at night, we're saying no shootings, no violence between eight and eight. The point of that was we have everything um, that we do based on time into six brackets of four hours each. Six brackets of four hours e each, eight to 12 bracket. 12 to 4 bracket, 4 to 8 bracket. Those are the ones that tangibly we, National Block Hill University and our affiliates and partners, can manage. Now, the police, they have 24-7 protection, but we know how that's working out for us. So when we say the Women and Children Protection Act, we're talking about what we can manage, what we can have influence on. So between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., that's what we feel we can have influence on. After 8 p.m. until 8 the next day, uh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Now, we did loop in there 6 in the morning to 8 for some things we're going to try to do, but more guaranteed will be 8 to 8. If we can squeeze in 6 in the morning, you know what I mean, to 8 at night, we'll do it. But for now, for all 10 purposes of helping everyone understand what we're talking about, we're talking 8 to 8. So if you're outside after 8 p.m., um, you know, you're going to have less layers of support. That's the best way of me saying it. So let's go through the, the time. Um, when you look at summertime and unemployed people with nothing to do, um, they can hang out. <clears throat> they can be out late at night because they don't have to get up in the morning. So a lot of the violence and crime, when you go to opportunity, the opportunity for crime and violence is higher <clears throat> because people don't have nothing to do. Some people. And so, therefore, when they when you're getting ready for the next day work day at eight o'clock, you're getting ready for the next day. Some people are getting ready to go hang out. Now, part of the Women and Children Protection Act involves women. It involves women saying, "I'm no longer going to harbor people who's not being productive in my household. They're not going to get away not being productive." And so that's a big part of this plan this summer for us to institute. And we're going to have the various churches agreeing to come out and be with us on these certain blocks between the 8 and 8 time frame because that's what we have. Every day a different zip code will be on duty. We're going to be asking that zip code to cover three regions, yellow, green, and blue. That's west side, south side, and east side. Uh, in Gary, Indiana, the exact same thing. So therefore, whoever's on duty, we're going to be really, really seeking that they have at least six people. So that, that way we cover all three regions with two people minimum. And the goal when we're talking about, you know, being out there is to go strategically and target the areas where hopelessness is, is, is having a, a stronghold. And we're going there to target them with love. That's the bottom line. A lot of these people, and this is how I want people to think about this. You have, let's go with threes again, <laughs> high, medium, low. So you got at the high end, you have people who are wannabes. They just hanging out because that's my big cousin. They're not tough. They're not um, gangster. They're not thuggish. 
they're just fitting in. They want to belong. So you got those groups. Those groups are easy to influence because that's not their natural origin. They haven't been cooked long enough to be tough. Then you got me, uh, medium. Medium is people, these guys out here who had some bad breaks in life, and they, it, it messed with their thinking, their way of looking at life. And so those guys are the ones that you will see that will rob you, that will do something to you. Uh, I call them the lone wolf. They'll get you early in the morning, 6 in the morning, you know, while you're walking to work to the train. They'll do that hidden. Typically, it's not a whole, it's not more than three of them hanging out early in the morning because they hung out last night, so they sleep. But you'll get that one or two who's in life, in bad shape in life and don't mind taking your stuff. They're not the hardened criminals. They're just the ones that look for opportunity. Remember, uh, crime is intent, capability, opportunity. They're just opportunities, if you will. Then you got the, 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 the low these are the ones that when you look in their eyes, they don't care. They've given up. They've wrote off any layers of support, and they're the most hurt ones out there. Those are the ones that can shoot you, that can rape you, that can kill you. Those are the ones that are the most dangerous, but they're not. They the minority. It's not a lot of them, the ones that's really, but they act as a benchmark to lower the high, the wannabes, and get them doing dumb stuff, and the ones in the middle who are really just out there alone and need to tap in every now and then to them. So the real gully ones, the, the savages, if you're the real savages, not the wannabes now. It's a lot of wannabes, and the wannabes fit into the high or medium, but the real low-level guys are the ones who got so many records, they, don't even, they know they're not gonna get hired nowhere. Those are the hopeless ones. Those are the ones that we need our pastors and our church people to engage when we out there between eight and eight. Engage them. Just show love. We're going to be consistent, so that's all you need. Consistency can wear them down. So we're going to target them, and we're going to be consistent with them in that regard. But the high, the ones that are wannabes, we're going to have a marketing campaign that's really going to be putting pressure on them to that's not your original self, to uh, you know, don't be a wannabe, you know, be a leader, not a follower. We're going to be targeting messaging toward those who are out there just because their family members are out there. And then uh, the uh, opportunities, they're going to be limited because we're going to have our carts out there. We're going to have people out there. So it's going to be less opportunity for them to rob, rape, and do something to our women and children while they're navigating around. So that's it. Um, hopefully this makes sense. We'll we get it all written up later, but we need your financial support. All this that I'm saying, I feel comfortable saying it. <clears throat> if we don't raise this one hundred thousand dollars for this summer, a lot of it's not going to happen. And and I'm I'm comfortable. We had a plan. We ready. We had the people. It's up to us if we're going to put our one dollar a month to the to the table and make it work. If not, then we suffer the consequences of that. But God has given us something. It's up to us to take advantage of it and do what we can to get our twelve dollars in, our hundred and twenty dollars in, and get others to do it. If you did it, that's wonderful. We got to get family members to do it. We got to get friends to do it. A lot of money is being spent. Then we complain that we got to put our money into targeted action to see change in our neighborhood. Peace.